Hello students. Last period we have seen how animals eat. In that we have seen flowers. Then animals those who swallow their food whole and animals that tear and chew flesh. Now today we are going to see animals that eat and chew grass. Also animals those who take liquid food. Now first of all we will learn about animals those who eat and chew grass. Okay? Herbivores like cow and buffalo they eat grass and leaves. They use their flat, sharp and broad teeth to cut off grass and leaves. They use their strong grinding teeth on back to chew the grass and leaves. Animals like cow and buffalo, they first swallow their food and after some time again they bring it back into their mouth and chew it for hours. This is called chewing the cud or rumination. These animals are known as curd chewing animal. Other curd chewing animals are giraffe, goat and sheep. Ruminants are the animals those are having a special type of digestive system. First they eat hurriedly and after some times they are able to take that food again in their mouth. So mostly you have seen cows and buffaloes they are sitting in a shade and they are just moving their mouth. Yeah. At that time what they are doing? They are chewing the curd. Means whatever grass or leaves they have eat Again, they can bring it in their mouth. Is it possible to us to do the same like cow and buffalo? No, our digestive system is different. Now, the next type of animals animals that take liquid food. These animals are having a long, thin, hollow tube. They are using this to suck the food into their mouth. We have seen butterflies and bees are flying over the flowers and flower in the search of nectar. Nectar means what? A sweet liquid produced by flowers. Butterfly and bees they use that to, to suck the nectar from flowers. Mosquitoes and leeches suck the blood from body of other animals. If you observe the mosquito, you will find out there is a small thick tube-like structure in their mouth. This tube they use to suck the blood from the bodies of other animals. Okay? Some animals like cat and dog, they lap up milk and water with the help of their tongue. This method of taking in liquid is called lapping. If you are having a dog or a cat as a pet, you can observe them. If you observe, you will see Whenever they are drinking milk or water, they are lapping it. They are not drinking milk or water like us. They are using their tongue and if you observe it properly, they are folding their tongue from backside to drink or to carry the milk into their mouth. Okay. So what we have done today, we have seen 
animals that eat and chew grass. Also, we have seen chewing the cud or rumination. Yes, and at last we have seen animals that take in liquid food. So, whatever part we have learned today, you have to read from textbook. Now, I'll give you the new words. That new words you have to copy in your notebook. And also, you have to decide that new words. Okay? Number one, grinding. Number one, grinding. Number two, curd. Number two, curd. Number three, rumination. Number three, rumination. Number four, liquid. Number four, liquid. Number five, leeches. Number five, leeches. Number six, hollow. Number six, hollow. So these all words you have to write in your notebook as well as you have to find these all words from the textbook and underline it. Also, recite these all words. Thank you.